To test your battery, you need to take the black wire and connect it to the COM port and the red wire and connect it to the input. Then press the on button to turn on the multimeter. Most every digital multimeter will have a light for the display. So, to test your battery, you come over to your vehicle with the hood open. So there, we took the cap off the positive battery terminal. But first, if your battery terminals are dirty, make sure to clean them. This will ensure accurate results on all of your tests. And then with your multimeter, you're gonna wanna take it and set it to 12 volts DC. DC voltage is usually marked as a V followed by a short line with a dotted line beneath it. The wavy line after the V is AC or alternating current. Do not use this setting. Choose the voltage closest to 12 volts as this ensures that you will read from zero to the number on the front of the multimeter. Most newer multimeters indicate DC voltage by literally saying battery test on the front of the multimeter, like these. And then you're gonna to wanna to remove the covers from your leads. The black wire goes to the negative terminal and the red wire goes to the positive terminal. A healthy battery will read between 12.4 and 12.6 volts. If your voltage is low or your car won't start, make sure to check out my video on charging your car's battery with an automatic battery charger, as this video will show you how to charge your car battery and start your car with a battery charger. If you're looking for a better way to test your battery, I recommend picking up a battery load tester like this one. You can pick one of these up for between 50 and $70. I'll link everything that I used in this video below. So to use this, you gotta unbox it and take it over to the vehicle. And connect your leads. It doesn't really matter which one you connect first here for this tester, just make sure you have a good connection and then select battery test. This is an AGM battery. And then select cold cranking amps, enter the number from your battery's information sticker. Relevant battery information can be found on the sticker on the top of the battery. Sometimes this information can be found on the sides or the front of the battery. Batteries will also have a small round sticker indicating the production date of the battery. Make sure to check this small sticker when purchasing your new battery. Do not buy a new battery if it's been sitting for more than two months. Then click enter to run a test. This battery checks out, 100% health. If you have a bad battery, it'll look something like this, indicating that you need to replace your battery. The cool part about these battery testers is that you can also test your alternator with them. Here's how. With the leads connected, just like in the previous step, select charging test. The screen will then prompt you to start the engine. Press enter once the engine is running and it'll begin to run a test for the alternator. It then prompts you to get in the vehicle and rev to 2500 RPM. After the vehicle has been revved, hit enter and it'll run another test. The alternator here checks out. It's in good working condition. About a year ago, one of our vehicle's engine stop start functions stopped working. I realized that it had this screen displayed. Additionally, the average trouble-free lifespan of a battery is around three years. While some batteries might last longer, a measurable decrease in performance can be detected at around the three-year-old mark. Here's more reasons why you should perform these tests. I also like to do these before I go on long road trips to ensure that I don't have any issues.
CCA or cold cranking amps is a rating used in the battery industry to define the battery's ability to start an engine in cold temperatures. The rating refers to the number of amps a 12 volt battery can deliver at zero degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. The higher the CCA rating, the greater the starting power of the battery. 